Midday Prayer for Wednesday the 8th of April O God, make speed to save me. O Lord, make haste to help me. Make me to know your ways, O Lord, and teach me your paths. Blessed are you, O Lord our God, the Shepherd of Israel, their pillar of cloud by day, their pillar of fire by night. In these forty days you lead us into the desert of repentance, that in this pilgrimage of prayer we might learn to be your people once more. In fasting and service you bring us back to your heart. You open our eyes to your presence in the world, and you free our hands to lead others to the radiant splendour of your mercy. Be with us in these journey days, for without you we are lost and will perish. To you alone be dominion and glory, for ever and ever. Amen. Psalm 71, verses 1 to 16. To you, Lord, have I come for shelter. Let me never be put to shame. In your righteousness, rescue and deliver me. Incline your ear to me and save me. Be for me a rock of refuge, a fortress to defend me. For you are my high rock and my stronghold. Rescue me, O my God, from the hand of the wicked, from the grasp of the pitiless and unjust. For you, Lord, are my hope. You are my confidence, O God, from my youth upward. On you have I leaned since my birth. You are he that brought me out of my mother's womb, and my praise is of you continually. I have become as a fearful warning to many, but you are my strength and my refuge. My mouth shall be filled with your praise. I shall sing of your glory all the day long. Cast me not away in the time of old age, nor forsake me when my strength fails. For my enemies speak against me, and those that watch for my life conspire together, saying, God has forsaken him. Pursue him, take him, for there is none to save him. Be not far from me, O God. My God, make haste to help me. Let my adversaries be confounded and put to shame. Let those who seek my hurt be covered with scorn and disgrace. As for me, I will wait in hope continually, and I will praise you more and more. My mouth shall speak of your righteousness all the day, and tell of your salvation, though it exceeds my telling. I will begin with the mighty acts of the Lord my God, and declare your righteous dealings, yours alone. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Matthew twenty six thirty six to 46 Then Jesus went with them to a place called Gethsemane, and he said to his disciples, Sit here while I go over there and pray. He took with him Peter and two sons of Zebedee, and began to be grieved and agitated, then he said to them, I am deeply grieved, even to death. Remain here and stay awake with me. And going a little farther, he threw himself on the ground and prayed, My father, if it is possible, let this cup pass from me, yet not what I want, but what you want. Then he came to the disciples and found them sleeping. And he said to Peter, So, could you not stay awake with me one hour? Stay awake and pray that you may not come into the time of trial. The spirit is indeed willing, but the flesh is weak. Again he went away for the second time and prayed, My father, if this cannot pass unless I drink it, your will be done. Again he came and found them sleeping, for their eyes were heavy. So leaving them again, he went away and prayed for the third time, saying the same words. Then he came to the disciples and said to them, Are you still sleeping and taking your rest? See, 
the hour is at hand, and the Son of Man is betrayed into the hands of sinners. Get up, let us be going. See, my betrayer is at hand. Why? Acrylic on paper by Jan Yates. Jan has been an artist all her life, having undertaken correspondence courses, TAFE and adult education courses, finishing up with a Diploma of Fine Arts. In addition, Jan has belonged to many art groups and participated in many exhibitions and is currently a member of the Ellenbrook Arts Group. Acrylics are her preferred medium, but over the years she's worked in watercolours, oils, pastels and ink. Jan's usual subject matter is landscapes, but she has also produced seascapes and some portraiture. Jan writes of this work, I read this passage in the knowledge that Peter was to later deny Jesus three times. And as I was painting this picture, a sense of sadness settled upon me. The utter despair that Jesus experienced is tangible. For my portrayal, I tried to put myself in Jesus' place, so to speak. He didn't want to face the torturous death that awaited him. No right-minded person would. Yet he knew that he had to. Knowing that there is something bigger at play, he throws himself down. I've tried to pick up this sense of foreboding in the colours, the roughness of the gnarled trunks of the old olive trees, Jesus' unkempt hair, his fingers raking, almost clawing the ground. His love has been rejected, treated with disinterest knowing that those closest to him still don't really understand, you can almost hear his asking, why? First of all, love. On the night of his betrayal, Jesus gave his disciples a new commandment to love one another as he loved them. Write these commandments in our hearts and give us the will to serve others as he was the servant of all who gave his life and died for us, yet is alive and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. Save us from the time of trial and deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power and the glory are yours, now and forever. Amen. Peace be with you. You are in our hearts.